Hey guys, Squiggles here, and I had a couple of fans request that I cast all of the finals for the IEM that just wrapped up, so I'm going to do that. I just cast game one, and that is up on my channel. Game two going on right now between EG's Puma and OGS MC. Yes, indeed, a Terran versus Protoss here on Terminus Reed, what I call the fan blade map. It, oh, actually, no, I call it the saw blade. It could be a fan blade, but I think saw blade is more brutal, more warlike. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> of course, this map is the MLG version. As you can see, there are these Terran supply balls at the bottom of the ramp, just to make sure no kind of walling action can take place. And all that good kind of jazz. Now it looks like both players are going to be going for... Oh, Puma actually going to go for this kind of wall thing. We're going to have to see if he's going to do what he did last time, which was an all-in style siege tank with unupgraded marines, tons of stuff. And last game, if you guys haven't seen it, you should go check it out right now before you watch this one because this is game two. And I'm going to spoil it right now. So Puma won last game, and he actually went all-in-ish kind of twice. The first time he had a nice little contain slash push going on with siege tanks, with siege mode. Looks like he had two or three of them, as well as a ton of marines. Didn't have stim, didn't have combat shields, didn't have 1-1, one, one, didn't have 1-0, didn't have 0-1, didn't have anything. They didn't even have a ham sandwich, but they just came to support their fellow tanks, and there were some bunkers that went down and all kinds of stuff. MC did not panic and was able to hold that off, and actually took a supply lead there. Puma macroed back up by throwing down a bajillion more barracks and just threw out a whole bunch more Marines. Also had a Raven, had some Banshees with Cloak. Um, I, oh, I should say that Puma tried to do some Cloak Banshee harass in the early game and yeah, MC shut it down so hard. Like he was like, oh, okay. Well, I see that there's a bunker at the top of the ramp, so I'm just going to go ahead and get out in a quick observer. And I'm going to have my my uh, stalker's position just in the right spot. And he had him positioned like, it was on Zelnaga, but like here and here with the with the observer like right here. And the Banshee's like cloaking and running in here like, oh, never mind. So it was just such, such good defense from MC, able to shut down that cloaked Banshee, did almost no damage. But later on in the game, during the second all-in attempt <laughs> from Puma, Puma was able to use his Raven to get sight of the observer, kill the observer with the Marines, and then the Banshee's cloaked and killed everything else. So, I mean, in addition to having good Marine Micro as well as some nice Siege Tank placement. So it was just a pretty cool push from Puma, and MC did drop that game. So 1-0 in favor of Puma. As we can see now, these opening building or build orders are coming out. It looks like there is a, a Stalker being warped in, and is there a Zealot? I wasn't really paying... No, no Zealot. So it looks like MC, who got the Zealot last game, is going to skip the Zealot this game, go straight for, for uh, Warp Gates, and some stalkers so gonna be getting out a couple of stalkers now oh no this SCV not gonna see absolutely anything he's gonna see like a gateway and be like oh he's going the gateway build all right fair enough meanwhile it looks like Puma who only has one gas still at this point is getting this bunker down again does have this reactor so looking very very much like the same build he did last time and we're gonna have to see if he's gonna do something else no it looks like he's gonna throw down a command center instead so from the beginning for from the entrance of his base if MC decides to scout it, and it looks like he is getting close with this. Uh, excuse me, with this first stalker, he will see exactly the same build that he saw last time. But he just doesn't know that there's actually a command center coming. And now we have a couple additional racks. Yep, he's gonna poke up, be like, "Oh, <laughs> never mind. There's a barracks or a bunker and a barracks and a reactor." just to cover myself. And so he's going to go ahead and pull back. These first stalkers not going to be able to do very much at all. MC going to be expanding behind his stalker pressure. And it actually is always good to do a little bit of stalker pressure because these stalkers with their shields can go ahead and just poke up, get an idea of what's going on, check numbers, maybe get a couple of free shots off and pull back before they take any real damage. Because in this game, their shields respawn so fast or regenerate. So, I mean, yes, indeed. Now it looks like a couple more racks with Tech Labs being added on so we could see a lot of marauders we could see quick upgrades coming out for the marines this time as it looks like eg's puma is going to go for more of a bio style as opposed to siege tanks we don't see any kind of factory or anything coming down at all for puma just yet and he is content to just oversaturate his minerals at least for the time being and this is a very weird mining pattern that you can see coming out from these <laughs> these scvs but that is okay that is okay Meanwhile, it looks like MC just going to be chrono boosting out some additional probes. Has warp gates done. A ton more gateways coming down. So he's going to be on four gates. Also getting that robo bay, or robo facility rather. I always call it a robo bay. Robo bay 
is for Colossus, which he does not have started yet. Is getting that Observer out. Yep, looks like Stem and Combat Shields coming out for Puma as he salvages that bunker to get the 75 of those 100 minerals back. Still quite a bargain. Yes, indeed. I, al I always giggle when I think about Blizzard being like, okay, we're going to make it so that now you're going to, whoa, a little bit of lag going on. Uh, what's going on? Uh, uh, are we good? We're good? We're good? Okay, good. Continuing. Uh, I always giggle when I <laughs> think of Blizzard being like, okay, Terran's a little bit strong right now. What we should do is take these bunkers and they shouldn't be free when you get them back. We should instead make it so they're almost free. It's going to cost 25 minerals if you get the salvage off. And every Terran everywhere was like, that's totally fine. I don't really care at all. But that... <laughs> That's just my two sets. I mean, it's. I guess it makes it cost a little bit, so that's that's fine. Okay, now Puma, look at this, going to be taking, it looks like a Zelnaga Watchtower with this Marine. Never mind, he already has it. Going to be taking a different Watchtower. And just poking out a little bit with these first units. Going to be checking for any kind of pylons, anything like that. Meanwhile, looks like an Observer going to come in here and peekaboo what he can see in Puma's base. Now, look, you can see MC is actually just macroing crazy right now. It has already taken a huge supply lead, and we haven't even had an engagement yet of any sorts. So it looks like Twilight Council is going down now. There is still just these four gateways, and he is just chrono boosting out probes like a madman. If we go to the units tab, and I will go there now. Nope, that's not right. There we go. <laughs> the R. We can see um, 46 or 48 probes versus 37. So his worker counts way up. And it looks like if we go to the army tab, we can see, there we go, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, you can see that MC is just ahead in every possible way. Wow, that is crazy good coming out for MC. And he also has, looks like he's going for this Sentry Zealot mix, and he probably will get, oh, never mind, he's getting Blink. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, getting some Blink, and he is going to just be going for some Force Fields and some Blinks. Probably will get Zealot Speed at some point. The legs are just so good at closing with Bio, which can otherwise just kite you to no end. And looks like both these players content to just kind of two-base for the time being. This factory saying, well, I'm not really going to be good for anything, so I'm going to go ahead and just scout right now. My job is done. I got the starport out, the starport with this reactor already, getting out a couple of dropships, and you can see these dropships are going to be moving across the map as uh, there's just Terran units everywhere right now. Third base going down for Puma right now, so expanding behind this aggression. Always like that. It looks like Puma has closed the gap a little bit, only down by about 10 supply right now, and a lot of that is workers, which means that their armies compositions and stuff are going to be what is going to decide this, not the actual numbers because their army comps are pretty much the same. All right, their army supplies rather, not comps. That would be impossible to have the same army, army comp with a pr Protoss on a Terran. Okay, now it looks like hmm, looks like Puma could be doing a little bit of double dropping action. Not quite sure. He has a dropship moving around this way. And what is his army going to be doing over here? They're just going to be chilling with the autonom Autonomaton 2000 right now. And okay, here comes out some belt, some zealots and some sentries, and it looks like Puma is going to go ahead and just kind of fall back with his group right here, actually getting some good, uh, now he sees it, and is he going to stem? He does have stem done, and is slow, and uh, there's another marine sacrificing himself. And, yep, looks like Puma is just going to be keeping these units in place so he can come over here and drop and do some nice damage. going to be killing this pylon at least. Meanwhile, looks like MC has been clearing out watchtowers. Going to be blinking in here with a lot of Stalkers, and he is going to get that medevac. That is so good. So here comes the stim. MC, look at this, pulling back the injured Stalker. Not going to lose anything at all. Oh, even saving that second Stalker as well. So MC, whoa, are you kidding me? Nice job there. Oh, look at Puma. That was not, I thought that was an expansion. That's not. That's, that is just silly me. That is just a factory. But now MC going to be expanding, and he is like, I just smashed down a attack. I need to do some attacking of my own. So he's going to push in here. What does Puma have to defend? Does have a decent amount of Marines, Marauders, and a lot of Medivacs. Wow. More Marauders being spammed as we speak. It looks like there are five racks up now for Puma. Going to be throwing up a whole bunch of bunkers to try to hold this off. Also has supply depots going up. An interesting placement. But, oh, look at this. Stalkers blinking up into the main, and they are going to think about killing something. Nah, maybe not. Meanwhile, we have Zealot and sentries just preventing any kind of run by it appears here comes the stem and here comes all the Terran units running up oh speed is done for these zealots and here we go here come the SCVs they are being pulled and the the Marines and Marauders have to fight to actually get up their ramp meanwhile these st stalkers look like they're just gonna blink back down and leave and Puma actually doing quite a good job of defending this right now there's the scan and he is gonna force 
the Protoss units to fall back. Also, also getting that Observer. So nice hold. Nice hold by Puma. Yes, indeed. Now it looks like MC could go over here and start working on these rocks. Has not started just yet. He's going to look with his Observer, see what is actually over here. Going to be, oh, look, there's absolutely nothing. Okay. Yeah, going to kill those rocks. And so all of this defense by Puma is going to be neutralized as he could lose his third. He does have a Planetary though there, though, so that is going to help quite a bit. And it looks like, no, MC is not going to kill the rocks. Just going to get him down to about half health and go ahead and pull all the way back. So, yes, indeed, going to do that. And MC, look at the supply difference now. Up by about 30 supplies. So, great job by MC. Getting Templar with Storm now. Oh, wow, that's brutal. So, I mean, Puma, he needs to make something happen, man, because Storm is absolutely going to rip his army apart. And Feedbacks could just kill, you know, at least that medevac and a few of the other medevacs as well. Okay, so what does Puma have going for him? Looks like he has plus two infantry weapons just about done. Plus two armor just getting started. Lots more marines, medevacs, and SCVs being produced all at the same time because you can do that when you macro. All right, three bun bunkers are going to be salvaged. Marines and marauders going to be stuck on this makeshift supply depot wall. And now they are out. This observer is just watching everything tattletale and that is a lot of marauders and marauders are pretty good at kiting and dishing the damage and also keeping the damage but you know what is good against marauders zealots are good against marauders you know what's good against zealots especially with speed and stuff when they get close blue flame hellions are so good and we haven't really seen anybody use them yet but i'm expecting at some point some point somebody will be like hey blue flame hellions pretty good against zealots i should transition to them especially when they're going for a whole bunch of zealots but instead Instead, what's going to happen is it looks like ghosts are going to be coming out for Puma. So we're going to see snipes. We're going to see EMPs. We're going to see a ton more racks go down. Ho, ho, ho. So now he has already how many racks? One, two, three, four, five. Five racks. Looks like he's going to be on eight racks now in just a second. Ooh, MC going to be taking the ninja expansion. No one would ever think to check that except that Marine. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Who's going to see that and be like, wait a minute. Instantly, Puma going to be dropping with this guy right here to make the cancel and the rest of his units staying here also has the a few ghosts in his army now so he's going to be able to emp he's going to be able to snipe going to be able to do all that stuff these marines and marauders are going to stem once and they're going to force the cancel on this there we go nice job by puma shutting that down and now what is mc going to do now notice mc is moving around trying to keep map control and get good scouting in maybe do some harass with these stalkers got to be a little bit careful there's the defensive blink back and he is going to get away and he did force the stem out of all of these Marines and Marauders. Here comes the Zealots and Sentries who are just chilling back at his base. Now keep in mind that Storm is done and all of these uh, High Templar have tons of energy to Storm with. And look at MC, going to be expanding to a more make-sensing location, I guess. That wasn't even a, close to a complete sentence, but whatever, whatever. Okay, so lots of lots of ghosts now as well wow there's even more ghosts than i can see right here looks like seven ghosts going down right now another ghost on the way looks like colossus are going to be on the way shortly for mc as he's throwing down that robo bay that's what i'm talking about right away and uh hi templar you gotta be careful storm's coming ah! nope scans going down everywhere <laughs> and both these players are just trying to jockey to get into the best positions possible meanwhile puma is going to Try to take his fourth right now and going to move in here. Ooh, another stim. So maybe a little bit of overstimming going on by Puma. There's the EMP on the Observer, which isn't actually going to do anything. There we go. There's another EMP. Wow, so using two MP EMPs to take out one Observer. That's not all that great. Ooh, and it looks like these Zelts could actually get in here before this command center is done morphing. And if he gets this kill, it would be absolutely good. Looks like he will indeed do it. Is it going to get canceled? No, no. So Puma losing, oh, and a money storm going off on all of those Marines and Marauders. But guess what? Actually, mostly Marines. But they did not actually die. And these <laughs> these medevacs have a ton of uh, energy saved up. There we go. So he's going to be able to go ahead and just you know recover from that fairly well. Looks like a couple of Archons are out on the field now. Plus three, plus three on the way for Puma. Plus three weapons just about to finish. Plus three armor is just started. Looks like ground... Uh, 2-2 two, two is just about to finish for MC. So Puma is actually ahead in upgrades right now. And here comes another big stem. And oh, look at that. There's only, only stalkers going on. Oh, huge storms going down. And it looks like decent job microing out of it. There's some EMPs going down as well. And these High Templar are desperately trying to run away in this warp prism. As now MC is doing a whole bunch of attacking slash defending this base at the same time. Going to be moving back into position here. Another stem going down. And here comes nice EMP there to EMP. I think he got every... No, there's still one High Templar with a lot of energy left. 
these ghosts are doing their best to EMP everything. Snipes going down. Looks like a couple of ghosts could actually go down. That's kind of huge. And these stemming Marines and Marauders. Uh, nice. Look at that storm dodge. Wow. And then just he felt bad because he did such a good job, so he ran back in it. But, I mean, Puma just absolutely doing a great storm going down, though. Oh, man, that's going to equalize it quite a bit. Oh, that feedback just... Are you kidding me? That one health left on that medevac. Wow. And these Zealots are just closing the distance. And you know what? As good as Marauders are at kiting, they just cannot do damage to the uh, units of MC. But look at that. It looks like it doesn't even matter. Looks like Puma is just going to go ahead and smash through regardless. Taking out that, that pylon is going to force the cancel on those warp ends. And now MC is going to be losing a lot of probes, not even killing off this expansion. Looks like Puma is just going to move in for the kill. Nope, now he's going to move back. He just wanted to kill all those all those probes, and who can blame him? Meanwhile, a decently good-sized army moving out for MC was able to macro up quite a big army right away. It looks like <laughs> one good turn deserves another. As Puma says, you killed my fourth, I'm killing yours. Ta-da! So there you go indeed. It looks like Puma has taken his fourth again. Meanwhile, MC has taken his base as well. Now we're going back. Oh, money storms! Wow, such good storms going down for MC, but he is really in a hole now. He needs to dig himself out of this. It is 123 supply versus 170 supply of Puma, who is just macroing crazy. And now it looks like he's getting ship weapons, so we could see a transition into battle cruisers, maybe, or something else. I don't really know. I'm expecting that because it doesn't make sense to get plus one weapons for your medevacs. Uh, am I right? Am I right? Okay, so ooh, here goes Storms to start off this engagement. And just looks like there could just be too much stuff for Puma as he is going to move in here. And again, these medevacs just doing such a good job. He's going to aim, move his way in, little stutter sap. And there's the GG. So MC is going to be down two games to zero. So Puma just absolutely smashing through everything. M or th <laughs> through MC. MC did have a good little blink attack up here, did some damage, but Puma defended beautifully and just came back to go ahead and take the game. So it is now 2-0 in Puma's favor, and we are going to go right into game three. Stick around, guys.